If you are watching this video, you're probably ready to get started into IT. So how can you get started? What are the best job roles for beginners, which also give you enough opportunities to develop in the long run? No matter if you're older and you want to make the transition into IT, or you're young and you just want to get started and get your first IT certifications. In this video, I will give you a broad overview of the most common IT career paths for beginners. I will tell you what skills are required, which IT certifications are important in these roles, and also what opportunities they will give you later in your IT career. So if that sounds all amazing to you, keep watching. Hi everybody, my name is Christian and welcome to The Digital Life, the right place for you to start your IT career, achieve new skills and learn how to become a real IT professional. I always make great tutorials, free training courses on YouTube and I also do a lot of live streaming on YouTube and Twitch. So if that sounds all amazing to you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In this video we want to talk about IT career paths that are best for beginners. And I actually thought a lot how I should make this video. Should this be a video just for beginners or for people who want to make the transition into IT? And what different IT career paths really give you enough opportunities to develop a successful IT career and to specialize in a specific area? No matter if you're already working in IT and you want to make the transition to a more professional IT career path and you want to develop a successful IT career this is also the right video for you. But first we're going to talk about how to get started for everybody who is not already working in IT. The hardest thing for people is to just get started and I actually know this very well because I was exactly in the same situation. I really had no experience, I had no degree, I was very bad at school and I really struggled a lot to get started because I really didn't know where my strengths and weaknesses are, I had no self-confidence, I had no idea where I should start and I wish I knew some of the tricks I'm gonna share with you in this video now. Also some people may have reservations because they think they don't have enough experience or they don't believe they are talented enough to become IT professionals. But trust me don't worry because in IT it's not so important where you come from. I've seen so many people during my IT career who ended up working very advanced IT roles with a high salary but they actually didn't work or start in IT so they made the transition at some point coming from a complete different job. So everything is possible. It's more important what experience and skills you can get during your IT career and how can you develop your IT career. I think experience is the most valuable resource in IT. Also don't be afraid to start at the bottom because that's probably the best way to learn something and trust me it will pay off at the end. Most people actually start at the bottom and start with an entry level IT job like on help desk or desktop support and that's actually a perfect opportunity to get started in IT even if you don't have any experience, if you don't have certifications or degree. Because usually in those entry level IT roles you don't need anything. You don't need any experience, you don't need any certifications. Trust me, even if some job descriptions may want you to have something, but that's just because companies hope they will get experienced people who work in an entry level IT role, but that's just those companies are dreaming. Because most people just start with an entry level IT job, they don't know anything about IT but they just get started they get the experience during their career I personally I also started in an entry-level IT job in an IT support role so this is a perfect opportunity to just get a foot in the door to learn how to speak to customers how to work for customers how to troubleshoot basic issues and this is just the best way to learn something and get your first experience in the field while entry-level IT jobs are a perfect way to get started, at some point in your IT career you just want to move on. Because I know that feeling, you're working in this entry-level IT job and you just want to develop your IT career. Because you're getting more experience, you just want to take challenges and you just want to develop a successful IT career, get a better job and get a higher salary. To me this happened also because this was the first time where I seriously started to think about my IT career. So in which direction I should go, in which area I should specialize, which IT career path I should choose. And this is also what we're going to discuss in this video. And I know this is not so easy because the IT is such a vast industry, there's so many different job roles, job descriptions, IT career paths, certifications and for beginners 
it can be completely overwhelming and confusing. And we will first start with the system and infrastructure path. So this is a very common IT career path and usually it is very easy to make the transition from entry level to this path because you usually work with some front end uh, clients or front end systems already in your desktop support. And on the systems and infrastructure path you usually get to work with servers, with systems, with virtualization. So you mainly need to configure and maintain those back end infrastructures. And this is also a very interesting path. You usually will work as a systems admin and you can also develop your IT career in this path and move on to advanced IT roles such as a systems engineer or systems architect. So this is a very interesting IT career path. You usually will do a lot with Windows servers because Active Directory is mainly the technology that all companies are using. So this is very important. Also virtualization is very important and sometimes Linux servers. So you should definitely focus on Microsoft certifications. Also Linux certification can be valuable if you want to make the transition to a more advanced Linux server admin or something like this. But you could also make the transition to more sales and consultant roles later in your IT career when you got a lot of experience but trust me before you take the chance to move on to a more sales role a pre-sales or a sales engineer role you usually should have a good understanding of those different systems because if you go to a company and you want to sell something or make recommendations how this company should integrate specific services you should have a broad overview of the technologies and the systems and services those companies are using the next IT career path is networking and this is absolutely my favorite IT career path are also strongly recommended recommend it for beginners because you can either make the transition from a systems and infrastructure path so for example you're working in a junior system admin role and you want to specialize in networking you can just make the transition and apply for a job as a network admin role or something like this but you could also directly start in networking this is also sometimes possible but it probably is a bit harder because you usually will need to know some fundamentals about networking and this is also very important when you want to move on and want to make the transition to a more advanced networking role such as network engineer or network architect. And usually you should get some important networking certifications. I can just recommend you to get the CompTA Network Plus at the beginning. So this is a non-vendor IT certification that will get you a lot of the fundamentals you will need in this IT career path, but also opens up the opportunity to work with different networking vendors because there are a lot. But also the Cisco certifications are extremely valuable, even if the company you're working for doesn't have Cisco devices. And this is because those Cisco certifications just like CCNA or something like this will also teach you a lot of fundamentals in networking and this is also very respected in the IT industry. So a lot of companies are using Cisco devices and if they don't they usually respect the value of those well established IT certifications from Cisco. So this is also very important. But you also can get some alternative certifications from Juniper for example. So there are a lot of opportunities in the network path and usually those advanced roles can also get you a very high salary if you specialize in some areas. There are also a lot of opportunities to specialize even further. For example you can become a Wi-Fi specialist List, or you could also combine the networking IT career paths with other IT career paths we're also going to talk about. So the next one is a cloud technology or the cloud infrastructure path and this is very interesting because this is an IT career path that came up a few years ago. So this is pretty new because a lot of companies are making this transition from on-premise hosting to the cloud and cloud is very popular these days. So usually you don't start directly in this IT career path because for cloud technologies you should have a good understanding of IT infrastructure so you could also make the transition from systems and infrastructure to cloud engineer or something like this and you also need to know a lot of networking because the cloud also needs to be connected to a network you usually work a lot with VPNs and virtual networks with port forwardings firewalls and this stuff so this is also very important and it is very common to make the transition from the systems infrastructure or the networking IT career path towards a cloud specialized IT role just like 
cloud admin and later you can also specialize even further you can get advanced jobs in this IT career path like cloud engineer or cloud architect so this is also very important there's also one special role you can also get in this IT career path this is a DevOps role and this is a very unique role because it is a hybrid um, between a developer and an operations manager and this is also very common in the cloud path because a lot of cloud systems need to be automated and this usually is done by devops engineers who develop processes to uh, deploy structures to deploy infrastructure to integrate this structure with different systems and api so this is probably a more advanced role but i just want to tell you that you have the opportunity and cloud is a very promising it career path because as i said a lot of companies are hiring those cloud specialists and i think this is a very promising it career path that will get more and more important in the future so if you want to work as a cloud engineer you usually should focus on two of the most popular cloud infrastructure companies so this is amazon aws and microsoft azure they also offer a lot of it certifications in different career paths with different levels so you just should pick one or even both of these companies and check out their it certifications and if you can get those certifications that will extremely help you to develop your it career in the cloud path and the last it career path i also want to talk about is cybersecurity. so this is definitely one of the most interesting and exciting path i think and today everybody dreams of becoming a hacker or a pen tester so i think this is probably very common these days before you start in cybersecurity, you should start in a different IT career path because usually cybersecurity specialists, they will need a lot of knowledge in many different areas in IT. So usually you will make the transition from networking systems and infrastructure path or even cloud to cybersecurity. And cybersecurity is also a very special IT career path because you can combine this with almost all different IT career paths. So this is also very interesting. So I also did that because I started with systems in infrastructure in a more entry-level IT job and then I made the transition to a specialized network role and I combined the network path when I applied for a job in an IT security company and where I started to work in the network security force. So this is also very interesting because network security usually requires you to get a very good understanding of network technologies but also with cybersecurity and this is very very interesting. So usually the cybersecurity path will get you very well paid jobs so they usually got a high salary and you got a lot of responsibility in these roles most people dream of becoming a pen tester or a hacker but that's just one role so the cyber security path is also a very very vast path with many different job roles you can be a security admin you can be a security manager later so there are a lot of interesting job opportunities with high salary and this is very very important but as i said you usually should get some fundamentals and IT certifications in other IT career paths before doing that. Although some people probably may start directly in cybersecurity, but I think this is very hard. It's not very easy. If you want to move in cybersecurity, you can get IT certifications like CEH or like CISSP. But as I said, the, especially the CISSP is a more advanced IT certification that will also require you some years of experience. So if you want to get this IT certification, you also need to work for a few years in a cybersecurity company. So as I said, this probably is not the direct path for beginners, but it is a very interesting path to move on later in your IT career. So these were the most common IT career paths that are best for beginners. As I said, cybersecurity probably is a bit special. I also left out some other IT career paths. As you probably have noticed, we didn't talk about developers or the operation path. So there are also different options. And I think these these are just the most common ones that usually beginners start with. So in my opinion, the systems and infrastructure and the networking path are definitely the best IT career paths that are easy for beginners to get started with. So as I said, if you are struggling to get directly into those paths, don't focus on getting your IT certifications before working in a job role. Start with an entry level IT job role, then build your knowledge, make your first experience, try to get some valuable IT certifications for these IT career paths you want to focus on. And then if you feel ready, take the action and make the transition to one of these IT career paths.
Also, don't get crazy with these IT certifications. I know some people just want to get all IT certifications, but this is even completely impossible and it's also not necessary because an IT certification doesn't guarantee you a job automatically. So this is also a common mistake people think. Just because they have one certification, they will automatically get their job. Well, that's not the case. Don't get me wrong, IT certifications are extremely valuable and they are extremely important, but they don't guarantee you a job. You still need Need to be the right person you still need to be a good fit for a specific job role so it's just much more important to develop your experience to develop your knowledge and on top of that you should also get one or two IT certifications that are valuable and important in your IT career path you want to develop in. By the way, if you're wondering how you can get those IT certifications, you should take a look at IT Pro TV. IT Pro TV offers you over 5,000 hours of video training courses, practice exams, test labs, and much more. So if you use the promo code, the digital life, or you just click on the link in the description below, you will get 30% of all subscription plans of IT Pro TV. So this is just amazing and this is a great opportunity to learn and study for your IT certifications, take those practice exams and recap these technologies in test labs. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and please tell me in the comments what IT career path are you working on, what you like the most and which IT certifications you're currently study on. So I would be very interested in this so please leave me a comment. You can also come to my Discord or my Twitch livestream if you just have any questions or you just want to get in touch with people who share the same interests like you. So before I go, I need to thank Mason and all my other supporters on Patreon because without you, the community, this wouldn't be possible at all. So thanks everybody for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, take care of yourself and I see you soon. Yeah.